Okay, we're gonna cut this rail line from Moscow. Then again, we're, we're so close to taking the city, man. We'll be here soon. One Russian troop. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Then kick him out in a moment. There we go. You push here. And I want you pushing away towards Moscow. How... What, what's our biggest issue with our units right now? I'm assuming it's the manpower thing, right? Yeah, we're at like half of our manpower total. Quest forces, expeditionary force. Give control of states. Yeah, nothing we can really do with you, unfortunately. But we are, we're missing like 30,000 manpower. We don't want, we don't want you. What, what do I want to research? Legitimately, I actually don't really know. I guess we go for tank design? We'll take it. We're very close to Moscow. And once again, the Alpanian people have shown that they are the most powerful people on the goddamn planet. You don't mess with an Albanian, man. They're gonna, they're gonna fuck you up. <laughs> Okay, they are defending Moscow, which, you know, I, I can understand why they'd want to do that. Look at that. This is this is the Albanian spearhead right now. Okay, we have some allies coming in. You're going to be gone in five hours. We're going to move you here. And I want you to deploy basically as soon as you can. I want you on the front line. Okay, the Irish has fallen, but... You know, Ireland, you were more of a distraction than anything. Like, no no offense to you. Are you gonna play through next? Let's keep on playing progressively smaller and smaller countries. Our next playthrough is just gonna be fucking, like, uh, Andorra or some shit. I know it's not in the game, but... Taking his position here. Somebody's who's just fighting war? Japan. Okay, Japan's gonna attack Germany's Asia. I'm gonna tell you right now, I do not give a single shit. Okay, I don't really know what our allies are up to. They seem a little bit confused more than anything. Okay, move you up on province. Okay with you falling back. I want to take Moscow. Where's where's our Iceland playthrough? Actually, wait. Iceland is a is Iceland in Europe? It is in Europe, right? Oh, that means there's there's one European country left we have not played, and it's Iceland. So clearly, that has to be next. Yeah, we're, we're surrounding Moscow. We're getting closer and closer by the day. We are taking... Actually, we've only taken 2,000 casualties. That's not bad at all. Deploy you. Do not deploy a second one. Yeah, don't deploy a second one. Just bring this one carry division up north, please. Okay, Brazil's joining the international now. Not a huge surprise at all. My question about Iceland is like, do they have any manpower? 6,000, okay, good. I mean, look how many units they have here. You could push in so easily towards Zarazin, and yet you just do not do it. I don't know why. I don't know why the AI is just allergic to... I guess we can put some support artillery into our armies. We have the artillery for it. Yes, fuck it, put him in there. Yeah, we've 
Have we, have we cut off supplies here? No, they're just gonna have to go around a little bit in an awkward way. We have two open slots. Let us go for the Albanian nuclear program. Followed by... I think a 41 industry tech. He has a territory for manpower. Unfortunately, no. The only thing you can ask for typically is... Um... Um... Garrison reinforcements. But I don't think we're actually occupying any territory. So... Because we're not occupying any territory, we can't ask for we can't ask for manpower. Excavation three, we do not want. I don't even know the research. I guess we'll take the artillery upgrade for 1940. Wait, I see Moscow. And where is our cavalry unit? Oh, he's up here. Okay, excellent. What is the population? Iceland's got a 123,000. Yeah, not a lot of people in Iceland. I'm... Okay, thanks for the convoy. I mean, if we had, like, a large puppet... No, it doesn't. It it doesn't like directly give you manpower. It it's not useful for us to occupy territory ourselves. I think like do we? What do we, if we abandon here and we just try to push on another area? Like what if we push like right he here? Or. I mean, what about Finland? Finland. Wait, do I still have my attache with Bulgaria? No, okay, I don't. I'm gonna, I'm going to abandon whatever the hell I made over here. We're gonna send troops to Finland and help them in Petrograd. But for the most part, you should be fine. Just take Moscow at some point, and you should be okay. Look at that! They, they're kind of pushing in a few provinces. Holy shit! Oh, and now Japan's got a war in Germany's Asia. Cool. Not, again, not that it really affects us too, too much. Like, we should still be okay. We see Austrian troops moving their way through the north. Fine, I'll go to war with Japan. Apparently me being there actually is what made the, G the German AI not want to uh, attack. Once we were gone, though, they're like, you know what? We should kill the Russians. Hopefully we'll see some good progress on the Russian front in a moment. I do see that the Entente is not in the war. I'm assuming it's because they're trying to still kill the American Union states. But that's more of just a hunch. Central America did join the uh, Internationale. Yeah, it's like we're not building anything effectively or efficiently. That's fine. Are you pushing towards Moscow? You're trying to. No, I, I guess I gotta give you credit for that, even if I don't know if you necessarily deserve it. You, can, you still get the credit. Thank you. Apparently, Hawaii's also in the war. Not, not a big deal, though, I think. Okay, I mean, they've, they're actually making great progress. I'm very happy to see it. Here comes our units. On their way to help out Finland. Who are the Ottomans? Yeah, they, they have the... Uh, Rickon Non-Aggression Pact. I mean, they could theoretically... What if they invited Afghanistan into the Istanbul Pact? And then just went to war with Russia anyways. That would be nice. Because Russia is still trying to kill Afghanistan. They haven't been able to accomplish it yet. 
I mean, Russia is, is, is distracted on many fronts. How many men do they have? Do we know? Not really. And we can't even create our own spy agency yet. Okay, here comes the Albanians, man. Push away to Petrograd. Push away towards uh, Novgorod. I actually don't know if the Rocky Mountain ceasefire can fire if um, the Entente intervened. I don't see why not. But that's not based on any actual hard numbers. Go take a supply hub here. I'm gonna have you guys attack, but be very careful. Denmark's being navally invaded, that's fine. Actually, let's look at this Reich's Pact. That's a, that's a fucking good Reich's Pact right there. Okay, because so you have the Istanbul Pact. You should just join up with uh, Afghanistan and go to war with the Russians. Okay? It's a simple request. Now, I'm not asking anything too complicated, I think. Well, it's going to be no manpower, but that, that's okay. We're only missing 14,000, though. That, that's significantly better than where we've been in the past. Okay, let's take Novgorod. We have a supply hub up here. It's connected to some Finnish territory. Can you just take Moscow, though? Like, that's kind of embarrassing. I haven't done it yet. Okay, France has declared war on the Dutch. They've declared war on the Entente. Excellent news for us. Hopefully it's excellent news. It means that the Entente will get involved. Hopefully the Kingdom of Spain will declare war on the Commune as well. And that would be good. Okay, there's the Entente involved. The Dutch have joined the Reich's Pact. You love to see it. I think the I think Belgium might end up collapsing pretty early on. But I think that's also okay. Okay, there's Novgorod under our control. Go take uh, Volkov. Let's move our way towards Luga. Again, we gotta remember that Finland is not in the Reich's Pact. Okay, we'll... See if the meeting between the Reich's Pact and the Entente go anywhere. I'm going to guess it would probably not, but, you know, we'll see. How many troops does Finland have? 9 to 30? I don't want to overextend the Finns. For, you know, fairly obvious reasons. Okay, but we've taken Petrograd. It's one of the four cities that we need to win the war with Russia. Move you here. Russia. I'm gonna take this city from you. How many troops do they have in Karelia, though? I don't know. I'm assuming the Russians probably can surrender. Or not yet. Yeah, they can surrender probably to Finland. If that happens, I do have a plan. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. It mostly just involves me transferring this territory to the Germans. I know, who could have seen that one coming? Okay, move you here. I mean, Belgium is... It, Belgium's having a bad time, like, don't get me wrong. You can kill Riga. They're not... Oh, wait, wait, Narva? you have people in it? Is there anyone defending Narva? There is not. Okay. Problem is, though, again, is that Finland is not in the Reich's Pact. Moscow has fallen. You love to see it. Okay. Spain's joined the Entente. Two-front war now with the, um... With the French. So that's two out of four cities we need. Because again, if you haven't watched my channel before, once you take Petrograd, Moscow, Tsarazin, and Etchenberg, I consider that to be game over for Russia. Just because fighting Russia is such a fucking pain in the ass and I hate it. <laughs> Move you up here. 
Belgium's collapsed. Okay, good work, team. But now Spain will go to war with the French, I'm assuming. Hopefully. Okay, we've almost met up with German forces in uh, in the south here. Alpha's conference has apparently failed. Good work, team. We can kill Estonia. And Zarazin's close to faltering. Because what's, what's Russia right at right now? They're at 65%. How is Transmere doing? They're okay. And who's going to win the 1940 uh, elections? Quick. Slash poll. We're going we're gonna to let Twitch chat decide once again. 1940. Unity. No, except... Or... Okay, we're actually just going to put in the ideology... Stock them or conservative. You have one minute to vote. Who's going to win the election of 1940? Switch chat. We're going to slow down the game a little bit. Just only some time passes while we're waiting on this. Yeah, but we can move units here. But I think this should have... Yeah, we have 13 days. I mean... I would like to I would like to kill Estonia for obvious reasons. The Russian ally, which is bad for us. When are you gone? You're gone now? Move to Narva. Move to Narva. You're not, you're not giving military access to anybody, right? No, you're not. And once this area is basically secured for Finland, we'll probably move our way back towards... Um, why Zarazin? Okay, Socked Up has once again won the election. Uh, you are... Unity, not progressive. Okay, they've won re-election. Just due to how incredible Albania's been doing. Okay, yeah, you just you stay behind for a second. Okay, we almost have uh, enough manpower to fill up our ranks. Poland. I think Poland's going to the same situation we had last time, which was uh, essentially. But. Poland's just going to survive in Warsaw forever. And nothing bad will ever happen to him. Okay, but Finland's doing great work. I don't think anybody can deny that. They, they've been doing very well for themselves. We can take Mermans, take Archangel. I would like for... Um, why are you not moving away to Oslo? No, don't know, don't know. We don't have an encirclement here yet. We're getting closer, but we're not we're not we're not quite there. French Republic, I'll take an on aggression pack with you. I'm gonna take the 1941 artillery upgrade. Yeah, we now see that France is gonna be fighting a war down in Spain. Hopefully that will alleviate pressure off of the Germans. Uh, we're gonna build ourselves one military factory in northern Epirus. Oh no, we're being navally invaded! Oh no! Oh no! My country! <laughs> How much are you worth for victory points? Can you make sure Britain doesn't kill me? That would be kind of funny. But, like... I don't want to die, obviously. I'm requesting some aid, please. To help me in my hour of need. I guess we... You know, I guess we should train a... Um... Where, where's that really crappy... 
Okay, I guess we'll just train up one more of you. Just to at least defend our capital. I mean, at least we still have Kosovo, so I don't think we'll capitulate. Luckily, we're not going to capitulate just by losing our two coastal cities, but this was an embarrassment. Luckily, we have Kosovo. Kosovo is going to save Albania. How embarrassing. We have even more British troops arriving here now. I mean, they're pretty weak. But Bulgaria, Austria, I, I need your help. At least a little bit. Draw a line like this. Okay, Finland has pushed um, Murmansk away from the rest of Russia. Like, I don't think we're going to lose here. It seems unlikely. Yeah, l luckily our allies are, are helping us out. Once you are in a fin Finnish hands, Berlin can send more troops down south. Which I would appreciate. I mean, if we can kill Estonia as well, I feel like that'd be uh, definitely useful. How's Afghanistan? Okay, Afghanistan's still doing very, very well. Yeah, get the fucking British out of here, please, and thank you. Okay, we do see the Entente actually doing a fantastic job in southern France. Getting some good territory there done. Also, we can't... You know, I'm going to go straight up to extensive, assuming we're... Yeah, we're actually capped out. We need service by requirement. But the Canadians, on the other hand, are not doing super well in the New World. So they're probably going to have to end up giving up uh, New England, but that's okay. Move units in. Etrenburg. I fucking hate how far Etrenburg is from uh, the rest of everything. And then there we go. We got the beautiful, beautiful Polish situation. Which is... Like, they're never going to break. As, as sad as that is, I don't think they're ever going to... Uh, they're never going to falter here. Like, what can you do, right? Like, what, what can you, um... Got some troops here. I want you to move down here, help them out. In fact, I can just draw your whole line on this. Me and Finland are accomplishing great things together. Oh, you're actually moving. Well, that works out well for me. I can come back here and then move my way through, um, back to German territory. Okay, German forces are helping me out. I appreciate it. I guess we go for 1940-1934 light tanks. You're not going to be encircled because you technically have Ravel. But, like, it's still not going to be, like, nice for you. Supply-wise. Yeah, I think after this, we're going to put our troops all the way down south, take Tarzan. And then focus on taking Etchenberg and winning the war against Russia. Actually, let's... I was going to say capture this airport, but I prefer to capture this airport for the Germans. 